Hey, welcome back to Not a Sermon, Just a Thought. The resurrection of Jesus changed everything. Thomas moved from, I will not believe, to my Lord and my God. Peter changed from failure to fearless. Mary Magdalene's tears were replaced by joy. The 11 apostles went from hiding behind locked doors in fear to being filled with the Spirit. The same people who a few weeks earlier had shouted, Crucify! were cut to the heart when they heard the news, baptized and welcomed into the community. Paul switched sides from being a persecutor of the church to a preacher of the gospel. What began with a few dozen followers turned into a worldwide phenomenon because the resurrection of Jesus changed everything. Over the centuries, millions of people have given up power, wealth, position, and possessions to take up a cross and follow Christ. Many have risked their very lives to tell the news, and some of them have given the last full measure of devotion. In parts of the world right now, Christians are being threatened with death unless they give up their faith, and they are not giving it up because the resurrection of Jesus changed everything. Look, I, I have seen joy in funeral homes, celebrations in cemeteries, hope in hospital rooms, and faith when all life had to offer was one more reason to doubt. I've seen marriages restored, addictions defeated, and brokenness healed. I've seen sin confronted, confessed, and forgiven, temptation named, resisted, and overcome, failure acknowledged, owned, and redeemed because the resurrection of Jesus changes everything. I, I don't know what you're facing today. Maybe it's more month at the end of the money or a doctor's unexpected diagnosis, or a fault line running through the middle of your marriage. You may be the target of some social media bully or feel so invisible that you think the world would not miss you if you were gone. I don't know what temptations you face or burdens you bear or how your past haunts you, but I know this. The resurrection of Jesus changes everything. It's not a sermon. It's just a thought.